Hey guys, welcome to another Illustrator Tips and Tricks video and in this video we'll be discussing about how to use a blend tool. So creating blends between two objects in Illustrator is very easy. So let's see with an example. Let's draw a cir circle with the help of ellipse tool. Let's give some boundary to the stroke. So I'll take it black and give some thickness maybe around 4 or 5. And now duplicate this Control c Control f Control f to paste it in the front and scale it up and reduce its thickness to around 8 now change its color to red now select both the object go to blend select blend tool and first select the inner object then the outer object you can see the sign plus sign and you can see the ring has been formed you can even increase or decrease the steps in between so if you want to decrease it you can decrease it to 4 and click ok and if you want to increase it you can increase it here in blend options you have three uh, parts and the one is smooth color specify steps and specify distance in smooth color what you get is you get a uh, gradient of color means the whole thing will be filled for example you can see the whole thing is filled and if you go to specified distance you can specify the number of uh, means the distance between the two rings if you uh, mention uh, 30 and click ok you can see distance is 30 bit uh, points between each curves so and this so let's keep our steps to be uh, around Six and click OK. Once you've done that, you can even edit this by going to uh, Direct Selection tool and edit the curve in a way you want. So you can even sh change the shape. You can even put anywhere. Uh, you can even change the inner too and edit it. One more thing is that you can with the Direct Selection tool you can directly select the individual rings and ch you can change the color maybe blue dark blue and any color so this is one way there is one more way using the blend tool let's understand that let's make a rectangle small one give it some fill color red and uh, remove its boundary and let's go take a di delete anchor point and delete one of the anchor point from here and with the direction selection tool uh, just uh, put it in the center now put this here duplicate this alt and drag you can you will get a duplicate of that object now scale it up and let's change its color to something like uh, uh, orange and give it orange or if you can even change it to a contrasting color like dark blue now select both the object and apply blend tool first click the first object then the second object and you can see a uh, one two three four five six seven seven rings has been formed between the two uh, between the two uh, shapes now one one thing the most important thing that you can do with plan tool is you can decide your path on your own way so with the pen tool you can draw your path in which path you want your design to move so let's draw some path like uh, this kind of like a snake or uh, this S kind of stuff and redu uh, remove its color and give some color to its stroke and maybe this and now what we do is we would select this one and then the blend object and go to object blend and replace spline and you can see what you get is the blend which we formed can be replaced with a curve so in this way you can create a blend and you can separately create the uh, waves or the designs or the path and you can just replace this spline, replace it to spline so this is a very cool technique you can after uh, doing that you can if you want to edit it more you can go to object expand it and click ok once you have expanded that go to pathfinder and divide it and after that ungroup it so every particular shape is independent you can change the color you can delete it or you can 
use it anywhere so this is how you can use blend tool hope you enjoy the tutorial thank you